This presentation is on Prophecy Historian version upgrade of Standard Edition. The objectives for this video are to upgrade historian components to a 6.0 release, verify operation of the different historian components, and verify all the services on the nodes restart automatically. This applies only to Historian Standard Edition and whoever applies this should have experience with historian systems. So start out by creating an inventory of your existing system. That means version numbers, um, the type of tags that you have, look at the number and types of data stores, and also note the quantity and type of collectors and their installation location. Historian upgrades are done a node at a time. Always start with the server node, then progress to the collectors and clients. You can install upgrades right over the top of existing versions. Double click the install launcher if it doesn't start automatically. The splash screen shows different install selection options. Click the historian install link at the top which includes all components in a single dialog. The version of Historian that is currently installed and version to be upgraded to are displayed. This step, step can typically take a minute. We've accelerated it here in this video. Okay, now select the Historian components you want to install on this node. The check boxes are not necessarily what is already installed. Typically they are default settings. This is where the inventory of the system architecture is really useful. And we want you to refer to your notes on what is installed so you know which components to select again for this node. Use the defaults for historian security. We can adjust these later and use the default system uh, logins as well. Click next. The install installer will begin upgrading the software. The install is also going to upgrade your Prophecy licensing software to the latest version that's on the install media. If there is an update, a SIM or service pack for this upgrade, you can install it now before rebooting or starting the historian services. Let the install complete and Windows reboot. In some cases you might want to set the historian services to manual start. That way you can control their operation the first time they reboot. But after that, you'll want to set them to automatic. Let's see if the updated components now start automatically. We can see our data archiver service is running, which is key. And also our historian administrator is connecting and showing the status of both our licenses and various collectors. We can also see the historian tags and current data and associated historical archives um, for that data. We can access a lot of this through the right-click menu off the tags selection. From the help menu we can go into the uh, IPI important product information and we can see what is in this updated release as far as client nodes, Excel or any other client, uh, it's good to go through and verify connectivity from them as well.
always a good practice to go through and just do a simple connection and from Excel add-in, for example, just do a simple query and make sure that you can browse tags. If you can do that, then you've established a, you've proven you've got a connection to the server. So some key points to remember, please back up your archives directory before you start anything in the upgrade process. Inventory your system architecture. Where are the different historian components installed? Always upgrade your historian key first. Okay, then begin your upgrade on the historian server and proceed to collector and client nodes. Always do the reboot test. Make sure everything is coming back up when you restart. You might need to do this a few times uh, for Windows updates and so on to, to be installed properly. Thank you for watching.